Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I am outside my Talmadge Goodwill today. It's been a productive day. I have gotten a lot of stuff done and I'm gonna go see if there's anything in here that is calling my name. <laughs> so wish me luck. I'm gonna take you with me. I'll see you inside. Let's see if there's anything in here for us to get. I'm looking at electronics. <laughs> How crazy is that? I always like to learn stuff, right? So this is actually something that you might wanna keep an eye out for. These are home phones, which most of us don't even have home phones anymore, but people are still looking for these and they buy them on eBay. Uh, this looks to be a full set of this AT&T, has a digital answering system in it. There are four phones. They have $5 on this. And it looks like if you could find this new in the box, this is 10 times your money. Um, out of the box like this, pre-owned, probably half that. And when you're thinking about $5 into $25, still pretty good, right? It looks like there's 73 listed, 64 sold, which is a pretty good seller rate, actually. I mean, it's less than 100%, but um, as long as you're in there competitively with a price, you should be able to sell something like this. I'm going to pass on this. I don't know that all the cords are in there. I can't really take it apart. I mean, I probably could, but I'm not going to. Um, but just something to keep an eye out for. There's another set over here. It's a VTech set. Only has three of the handheld phones, but it doesn't have the big one like this does with like the answering machine in it. So it's not a complete set. That one I'll definitely pass on. Nothing else over here that is all that great, but I have bought some stuff that is really good sell through rate. And it's super easy to look up. You just gotta flip it over, look at a model number, put in whatever it is, model number, and uh, make sure it has a remote and it has its cord. Sometimes you can even test, at least, you know, plug it into a wall or something and see if it fires up. Fabric steamer. All right, let's see what else is in here. Around the corner in the hard goods. Although I didn't check out any of this aisle. Sometimes I gotta look here, see if there's any good linens, old linens, or afghans, of course. Here's a little quilty thing. Ooh, <laughs> I don't like the colors that they picked. Anything else? I'm getting into dresses here. So they don't have many things in the way of linens. I wonder why. It's a very small section here. This guy's funny. What is he? Is he supposed to be grapes? That says pancreas. Does that say pancreas? Is he a pancreas? <laughs> That's weird. I like these a lot. Um, these are probably Odagiri. These seagull mugs, they're really nice stoneware, really good quality. These are actually in beautiful condition too but there's probably a lot listed on eBay and not a lot sold. I think the ones that do better are in color, like blue, or have painted glazed color on the handle. These are just really plain. They are really cute though, $1.50 for two. I don't know, there's some schmutz on there that doesn't look like it's gonna come off. I'm probably gonna pass on them. Just because something's cheap doesn't mean you have to buy it, right? The shelves are kind of bare today. Looking down that side, it looks like they've cleared a bunch of shelves. I see something looks like Pyrex over here. Little mushroom, $4. It's in really nice condition though. These should have a lid. It's worth a look up. I love the mushrooms. So we'll take a look at that. I don't know if I feel like going through all of the crafty bits. There's a big recipe box. Healthy meals in minutes. I don't know who that is. I see some 
those stamps, Mom. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. There's some that are letters. $2. All right. I might have to send my mom a photo of those. Look at this cutie. I almost walked right by him. I love those red handles. He's only $1.25. That I'll take. Is it just me or does everybody else get anxiety when you're kind of encroached upon? This woman like, pushed my cart out of her way and then proceeded to put her cart in the middle of the aisle so that I couldn't come back down. I just thought it was really weird. Alright, I gotta look some things up. What is this? My gosh. It is a very big candle. It looks like there's candy inside there, just wanting to get out. It's a Lemax thing though, what's this? Oh, it's a little, looks like pond with swans on it. Pine Haven Pond. Yeah, that's worth a look up. I'll have to check it out, of course, to see if it's okay, but also in the box. So I am going to check this out. There's 13 listed. There's eight sold, but now that everybody's starting to get out their Christmas villages, this might actually go up um, in demand. They only have $3 on this, and it looks like the comps on these are around 25 so this makes sense if it's all in there and it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Two little swans in there. They both have their heads. <laughs> and there's a couple of extra bottle brush trees in there too. So that never hurts. Excellent. We'll grab that. Looks like somebody gave up their angel collection. Now this one I was interested in. This one has a signature here. It's D Capoli collection and it's fiber optic. And these can sell. This one is missing its cord, which is probably universal, but it's also really, really dusty. You can't see how bad it's bad. So I'm going to stay away from it. Look how cute that is. Is that enamel? That's adorable. Little cardinals. Five dollars though. I'd be interested in that half off, but five dollars is pretty hefty for that. I'm very sad to see our scary squirrel is still here. <laughs> Just found this. This is a little tile made by Cabbage Town Pottery and has some age to it. It says Atlanta. I know somebody that might like this. And if she doesn't, that's okay. I think it might sell. Ooh, what's this? No, that is a cheapy it looked better than it is. Gosh, it's like weighed nothing. This is adorable. Look at this little lusterware piece with the paint and scene on it. Wow. I'm kind of glad that doesn't have a sugar ball because I would be tempted. <laughs> uh, who is this? Home and Garden Party Limited. I recognize this. This is totally 90s. That's cute. I think that's supposed to go on there, isn't it? Is that the melt? I think those are supposed to be together. Oh, I see another angel. This looks like Avon packaging. Super Sleuth magnifier. Does it say, yeah, Avon? <laughs> That's funny. All of these. It's like you get an idea of the uh, 
artistry of the boxes. All of these are Avon. I just don't even look them up anymore. Unless it's something really like out of their wheelhouse, sometimes I'll look up. Little brown drip pitcher. Man, those are some big pine cones. It'd be kind of cool, but this one's really busted up. Don't see any baskets. Do you see any baskets? I love baskets. I love this one. This looks like a little wall pocket. Now that's neat. Look at that. It's kind of like a little bird nest wall pocket. Oh, it's got some damage, broken pieces. Gosh, that's neat though, isn't it? Little cornucopia. It's getting to be that time of year. It's kind of a weird thing if you think about it. Cornucopia. Like, it really doesn't hold much. Every time you see a photo or something of it, the stuff is spilling out of there. I think maybe I have to look up the meaning of cornucopia. <laughs> like, really, was that a vessel to carry all that stuff? Carry it like this and then just put it on a table and let it all spill out? <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's the point. I don't know. Look, some more angels. Are these chalkware? Oh, they're very thin and lightweight. Wow. I'm surprised those are still alive. 89. Those are kind of nice. I would be afraid to ship those. So lightweight. Are those llama plates? Yes, they are. I think they need to be painted or something. They need glaze. They're like bisque. You couldn't actually use them for anything. They're super cute, though. Aw, look at these two. Little cuddle buds. What is that? Right in front of my eyes. It looks like a mermaid dish. She's kind of wild, huh? Is that a soap dish? It's a very large soap dish. I have to do a Google search on her and see if she's anything. She doesn't look like she's that old. But mermaid stuff is good stuff. What's this? Melodies of Christmas. 1989 Heritage House. All right, Japan. I might look this up too if it works. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Seems well built. All right, so we'll look up these two little pieces. Google image search led me to eBay where she's listed for $25. I see her three times on there. I don't see her sold. However, she's very cool. She's a mermaid. She's half nude. I don't know what this is here. I don't know if that's something that'll come off. I hope so, but I think I'll grab her for $3. In this one, there are many listed, none sold. But again, it's in beautiful condition. Christmas is coming up. I think somebody on a live might love this because it's just very nice. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It needs cleaned up. That's very sweet. This makes me laugh. Look at this lady. <laughs> she says, I quit. <laughs> What is this? Oh, I saw her the last time I was here. <laughs> this big girl. Uh, there is one thing here that I'm gonna pick up and it's right here in front of me. They have $3 on this. It's a nice piece of glass. It's not flashed. It's amethyst. It doesn't look to have any damage. It's footed, it's lidded, has a cute little knobby top. All the things that kind of check all the boxes. If it's something that sells on eBay, great. If not, I know I can bring it to a sale because 
It's one of those, it's in a great color. I'm sure somebody will love it. I also found this little box. They only have $1.25 on it. Look at the beadwork on there. I thought that was really pretty and interesting. So that'll probably go in my mystery box pile. It's around here on the blue end cap. That's kind of pretty. It's probably not old. Some decorative use only label on it. Isn't that neat though? It's a very cool look. I love the color on it. That mustard and that blue, $5 will probably pass but yeah that's got a cool look cute little birdhouse why is this bird hanging upside down dude <laughs> there's one on the other side too let me help you guys out oh no no this is no good it can't hang upside down we don't like that we don't want that for you oh what's this little bubble I thought for a second that's flash but I don't think so I think it just has bubbles in it you know me I like that clear handle on there somebody blew that it's definitely a piece of blown glass it's not a professional piece uh, the handles wonky the piece itself is wonky what is this over here oh another little angel got some hobnail stuff here a little maybe Fenton little hobnail hats two dollars <laughs> that look really pretty with the tea light in it mm, might pick that up two dollars is a good price that's pretty fancy that kind of looks like inexpensive China handmade Talavera it's this little guy that was heavy. I didn't expect it to be that heavy. Looks like somebody may have dropped him. He's got a crack. It's kind of neat though. I don't know what the point of that is. Just a paperweight, I guess. Mm, this little bottle in here doesn't have its stopper. Oh, this looks like a piece that kind of goes with the one up top, huh? Same colorations. And I think I saw these last time. I wanted them to be studio pottery, but they're not. It looks like a little handleless teacup set. It's pretty. Oh, she's pretty too. Royal Majestic Bells. It's the closed eyes that get me every time. Well, I found a little chippy in the uh, hobnail hat here. So that guy's gonna stay and I'm surprised it's going on six and nobody's made an announcement that they're closing so maybe they have extended their hours for the fourth quarter which makes sense if you think about it for Christmas time so I guess I have a little bit of time to look at art and books and that's cool these are kind of awesome this is all like cut stone, although it has some issues and some sloppy glue. But look at the birds up there. Aren't they neat? I went back for this. <laughs> I just couldn't. It's got some sticker residue, but it's in wonderful condition. $5. The design on it is just adorable, and it's enamelware. I feel like Somebody's gonna want it. I know a lot of people who love the Cardinals. And they never yelled at us to get out. So I guess I'm gonna look at some clothes. This makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> Let's check the prices. Short sleeve shirts, $4.79. Sleeveless shirts, $4.79. Long sleeve shirts, $4.79. Sweaters are $5.29. That kind of makes sense. But whether you have sleeves or you don't have sleeves, you're 479. <laughs> you just gotta remember that. So I found some things I like. I'm wondering about these. This one I really like. 
I think it would be okay for fall, kind of fallish colors. Uh, love this material, you know I do. <laughs> See through. I think it would also be good for next summer, maybe. Nice and cool over a cami. Loose fitting. Liz Claiborne, so good label. This is kind of fun, right? Look at this. This has a lace top and a wild bottom. <laughs> it's called a retro chic or a retro chick. And, oh, it's torrid. That's kind of cool. Totally out of my wheelhouse, but maybe fun, you know, for dress up. Put a little sweater over it or something. Kind of digging that. All right, so, so far digging both of these. This is IN Studio Woman, and it is just a black sheer over a built-in cami. Um, I love black. I have a lot of black. I probably don't need any more. Although this one is blue tag, and blue tag is half off. So let's consider it. This is a staple piece, cowl neck. I'm a fan of this uh, label. I like the material and it's in really nice shape. This is one of those could go under anything for the winter or the fall even. I'm seeing something weird there. Looks like it just needs washed. It's sleeveless though. It's $4.79. It's going to be the same as those cool tops. I hate to do that. And then this is the last thing I found. Oops, came off the hanger. It's got a really wide neck. And this probably is a sheen or china made and I'm not usually a fan of this printed material but look at how cool this looks it's not neat it's just on one side it's echoed on the back if I can keep it on the hanger it's kind of neat very kind of artsy the thing I like about it the most though is it's super super soft I don't know what this polyester blend is. It doesn't really have any other information on it that I can see. Oh wait, polyester spandex, yep. It's a good combination for softness. So I don't know how it's gonna wash and wear. I'm not a big fan of this collar either. Urgh. But this one's also blue, which is half off. So this would be you know, two dollars and twenty some cents. I feel like even if I wear it once, <laughs> two dollars is a good deal. I don't know. I think we're going home with these four things. I think we're doing it. This is everything else I have in the cart. I just showed you I picked up the cardinal enamel wear pot the amethyst candy drawer, the Lemax piece, this fun little mermaid dish. Wouldn't it be fun to serve something in there, like charcuterie? Maybe some sushi or something? <laughs> this little beaded box that I think is nice for $1.25. Um, $1.25 for this old red handled rolling pin i did not get a hold of my mom but these are only two dollars so we're gonna get her this little bag of stamps she can look through when she comes over i'm getting that pottery tile i'm getting this little box again it's like three dollars super quality make a pretty little gift and how much was the pyrex was this also three or was this five for right in the middle the condition yeah we're just gonna pick it up i think that's our cart come to check out all right y'all one bag <laughs> got some decent stuff i like the Lemax piece i think that'll bring some pretty quick money since it's uh christmas time and what else did i get some neat shirts this little piece here which I looked up and it looks like it retails for about 35. Um, I did use a coupon and I have a good track record because my purchases produced a new coupon. 
<laughs> so as long as we keep doing that, that'll be awesome. I think the total was like $45 and I used the coupon and it dropped it down to like 30 bucks, $30 and 24 cents or something like that, which is amazing because just that one shirt from Torrid, somebody probably spent more than 30 bucks on it. That's kind of how you have to think about things, especially when you do purchase clothing. By the way, y'all, fast fashion is horrible for the planet. If you want to do some reading and be really depressed, find your clothes secondhand. We really don't need to reinforce the purchase of fast fashion. I'm happy with my thrifted wardrobe. It's pretty colorful and everything I wear when somebody says, oh, I like your sweater, I like your shirt, I say, thank you. It was $4.79 at Goodwill. <laughs> or it was half off of $4.79 at Goodwill. All right, everybody, that's it for me. I'm gonna go home, see if Earth is home, get some dinner and probably do some listing. <laughs> listing, listing, listing. The more you list, the more you sell. Please take care of yourselves. I will see you on the next one. Bye.